Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're looking for lipsticks which are suitable for tan skin, my skin is NC40, then you're watching the right video. Uh, I'll be talking about my top 5 MAC lipsticks which I'm extremely excited about. The one I'm wearing right now, the first one that I'll mention, is called Lady Danger. I'm sure that most of you have heard of it. Um, it's, it's a very, very, very bright colour. Um, this colour basically suits every skin tone that I know of. There's no single skin, skin tone. Um, it doesn't matter if you're very pale or very tan or very dark, it doesn't matter. This lipstick is going to suit everybody. Uh, this is how it looks like. It's a very fiery sort of a red. And um, see, I'm mostly done. I've used it so many times that I'm nearly done with it. And it's one of the most brightest orange toned lips that you can ever get. Oh, this is a matte finish actually, and uh, it does dry up the lips uh, a little bit. But if you wear it with um, a gloss or perhaps with a lip balm underneath it, then it doesn't actually matter that much. And um, for the color, I would compensate for the, the color actually compensates for um, the texture any day, any day at all. I really love this. You should go for it. lipstick that I'm going to talk about is Mirage. Now this is an orange color and um, earlier this year I was looking for, well I was going crazy for an orange lipstick and I was searching through the MAC um, website and I found that the brightest and the most, I don't know, unique orange was Mirage. Here's how it looks. The camera is picking up the more red of this color as compared to the uh, orange of it. I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually more of an orange than a red. It's very, very orange. It's a, it's, that's why it's called M orange, which is morange. I call it morange. I don't know if it's called morange or morange, but I love making it classy, making it sound classy and saying morange. <laughs> So um, this this is an amplified finish. My most favorite finish by MAC is amplified to be honest. What I'm trying to say is that amplified finish has the matte finish with creaminess with it. So you can see, you're going to notice that most of the lipsticks that I'm going to mention today are amplified finishes. Now, moving on to more pink tones, this is a bright, beautiful, light pink color, and if you have a look at it, the camera is not doing, doing it justice at all. I find the name very interesting, Chatterbox. I absolutely love this color. Have a look at it. is not picking up how light this color is. It's very, very light. It's very, very bright. It's very close to uh, Nicki Minaj and Saint Germain, but Saint Germain washes your face a little bit, whereas um, this color brightens it up for sure. So um, this is also an amplified finish, and what I do for maximum impact for this particular lipstick is wear it with a lip liner. I fill in my entire lip. I'm not doing it right now. I'm just using my lipstick on. I just have my lipstick on right now. But usually what I do for maximum impact for this lipstick is I use it with uh, this lip pencil. I color my entire lip with this lip, lip pencil and it's called In Anticipation. Um, these two match completely well together. Exactly same shade but what difference it makes by wearing this is that your lips get a more fuller sort of a look and a fuller sort of a feeling which I think looks really excellent on everybody. Next up, a brighter more darker pink. 
this I think everyone has heard of before. It's called Impassioned. And mm, whenever I use this lipstick, I feel like blowing kisses to the air. Um, this is how it looks in the tube. I think the color that the camera is picking up is correct. Usually if you have black or blue eyeshadows on, then this color suits perfectly. It gives you a bit of classy feel if you wear it with a little, little bit of pearls and uh, with your hair tied up and with your long slender necks just walking into a beautiful uh, ball or event. <laughs> ball. Then, um, you know, it's perfect for you. You should definitely go for it. Last, but definitely not the least, the most scandalous rebel. <laughs> so, um, I'm really, really happy with this color uh, since I bought it. I'm extremely pleased that people rave about it as much as they do because this is a color that nothing beats. This velvety, gorgeous, rich color that Rebel is. It's just the most amazing auburn purple beautiful and I have no words to describe this. This is absolutely luscious is the word. Yeah, It's, it's a very luscious color. Um, this is also in, um, no this is actually in satin finish and this is how it looks on the lips. Everybody knows that this is an autumn color, but um, I'm going to bring it up during the winter season as well. Well, in Bangladesh right now, we have the winter coming up, and I'm definitely looking forward to all those evenings that I'm going to be wearing Rebel and going out. So, um, here ends my top five MAC lipsticks collection. I've mentioned Lady Danger, the bright orangey-red that looks like fire that looks like your lips are on fire and you're gonna put anybody on fire if you wear it and then uh, I mentioned orange the orange lipstick that the orange lipstick that is so suitable for spring or early summer then I mentioned uh, chatterbox chatterbox is I think it's a daytime color um, any any day I'm gonna wear chatterbox I'm gonna wear it uh, during the day in the afternoon sun when I'm going somewhere, for example, shopping or attending a beautiful lunch with my friends. And um, then I mentioned Impassioned, Impassioned, the gorgeous, classy, uh, you know, I can never stop talking about my glow sticks. <laughs> yeah, Impassioned is uh, the darker pink magenta sort of lipstick. And now I'm mentioning Rebel. The winter, autumn, luscious lipstick. So go ahead girls, go ahead and buy um, whatever suits you. Please do take pictures wearing them and share them with me. I'm really interested to see you know, how these look on you girls. And um, if you have any requests for... If you have any requests that you'd like to see, if you want me to do some tutorials or some product reviews, please do let me know because I'm here to stay and um, I'd, it, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel and if you, you know, rate this video or if you encourage me by you know, giving me a comment because I'm just starting off. I need some encouragements from you girls and I need to know that people are watching these and enjoying these or hating these. I'm not sure. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> and until then... Bye.